Hello, I'm Sochil Dixon. In today's encouragement from our Daily Bread, I'll be reading Reasons to Rejoice. When Miss Glendo walked into the church commons area, her infectious joy filled the room. She had just recovered from a difficult medical procedure. As she approached me for our usual after-church greeting, I thank God for all the times over the years that she's wept with me, gently corrected me, and offered encouragement. She's even asked for forgiveness when she's thought she's hurt my feelings. Whatever the situation, she always invites me to share my struggles honestly and reminds me that we have many reasons to praise God. Mama Glenda, as she lets me call her, wrapped me in a gentle hug. Hi, baby, she said. We enjoyed a short conversation and prayed together. Then she left humming and singing as always, looking for someone else to bless. In Psalm 64, David boldly approached God with his complaints and concerns. He voiced his frustrations about the wickedness he saw around him. He didn't lose confidence in God's power or the reliability of his promises. He knew that one day the righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him. As we wait for Jesus' return, we'll face tough times. But we'll always have reasons to rejoice in every day God has made. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Psalm 64. Hear me, my God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the plots of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. They shoot suddenly without fear. They encourage each other in evil plans. They talk about hiding their snares. They say, Who will see it? They plot injustice and say, We have devised a perfect plan. Surely the human mind and heart are cunning, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. All people will fear They will proclaim the works of God and ponder what he has done. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him. Let's pray. Almighty God, Thank you for giving us so many reasons to rejoice as we celebrate who you are, what you've done, and all you've promised to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.